Yo, what is good, world? It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King, the third. And as always, I have my lovely co hosts with the most by my side, Miss Reese PC, the one and only. Hey, y'all. And we thank y'all for tuning in and turning up for another dope episode of This, That, and the Third, the lifestyle show that gives you life. Literally. Literally. Now, y'all know it's Third Thursday, so we about to pull up and pop out to the uh, Third Thursdays at the Alpha Space, yes, the beginning yes. of Everything Fly, located at 2014 South Michigan Avenue from 7. So around 11, that's a loose, <laughs> that's a loose end time. But uh, tonight we got Soul Seekers, yep. the first feature length film from the UK, and it's on the sneaker culture, and it's just gonna be dope, man. The, the store has been taken over by Puma because they oh got an my, event oh, coming up this weekend. So nice. The it's store is fly. Everything. Uh, uh, Troy Pryor from Creative Cipher yeah. is curating the event. You want to be there, yeah, man. So since we got a dip, we're gonna give y'all a quick rundown of this week's activities on this and a third. Okay, so you know the French won the World Cup. I did hear that. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> wee oui, wee <oui>, win. <laughs> You know, I, I'm not mad at the French. I'm happy Russia lost. Man, I so was, they were in the championship or no? Nah, it was just held in Russia. It was just held in okay. Russia, but Russia did compete and ah, then they, you know, okay. they lost. Mother Russia. But yeah, so the French won. That okay. was, you know, shout out to the French All right, people. I like French bread and French fries. Okay. <laughs> what else going on in the rundown? So the FDA is now saying you can't call everything milk. Wait, wait, wait. FDA is Food and Drug Administration? Yeah. The people who, you know, Regulate. Scott Pruitt was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Pruitt now. Right. So, anyway, basically, I, what I think is happening are the milk sales from a cow, milk mm -hmm. from cows, are going down. Okay. Because people are becoming a little more educated and worried about their health, mm -hmm. so they're buying almond milk. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, almond peanut milk. Peanut milk. Yeah. Milk. It, milk does come never, from peanuts, though. I've heard saw of a peanut documentary milk. on how it's made. But, what? basically, they're saying any plant-based Milk. Right. That soy milk should not, don't count. Soy, yeah, should not be called milk anymore. Okay. So I think, I think personally it's from the numbers. And it's more than likely to scare consumers off to be like, well, I came here for milk. If this isn't called milk, maybe I'll just go back to regular dairy. Well, and to help the dairy farmers. Yeah, the dairy think, farmers need help, and I get it. A lot of people need help. But do you know the history behind the milk industry? No. Apparently. Don't quote me on this, because I state opinions, not facts on this, then the third. <laughs> but... I heard that during like maybe World War One or two, I'm not sure, but they said it was just hard feeding the troops and feeding, you know what I'm saying, people uh -huh. and sustaining, you know, feeding okay. people. And uh, that's when they turned to, well, shit, uh, we can kill this cow and make meat or we can get this milk out of this cow, maybe this goat, maybe this penguin. I don't know, but just, you know, feed people milk as well. And it's, it's it, you know, so that's, that's why, where it started yeah, because, you know, if you're grown, you're not supposed to consume milk. No yeah, other animal that. besides humans consume milk after they're weaned off their mom's teeth. I don't drink milk. You drink milk? Milk doesn't fuck with me. So, no. yeah, I stopped drinking milk. I enjoy milk. I enjoy milk, I but I don't drink it as much as my son. Yeah. He no. slams milk like it's so, right. vodka. So even, <laughs> even goat milk yeah. wouldn't be considered milk. Yeah, yeah, because so it doesn't make dollars. So it's only what comes from a cow. So that's interesting. Just pay attention to it. See what Stay happens. woke. Wipe your mustache. Next we have... Okay, so I've seen this first in Miami. Mm -hmm. McDonald's with the kiosk. Yeah, yeah. So you go up to the kiosk, you make your order, it goes to the back, and then they just call your order out, right? Mm -hmm. The only one I've seen here is on 76 in Vincennes. No. It's more? Yeah. Rare. 35th in Indiana, like a motherfucker. I went there and was scared. <laughs> because I'm like, wait, I have to? Go to this key. So I they had no cashiers. They had food ha handers. They were food hander outers. That was it. So okay. what if you have cash? So the person or the McDonald's on 76 and the one in Miami, they still had cashiers. The, and, nobody was taking orders. And I think it's because they might have just been trying to introduce them. Okay. So what's going to happen is by 2020, all McDonald's will have them and they will no longer have cashiers. Mm, 2020, we That's see things clear. Years. That's tomorrow. So... I don't mind it, right? I don't right. mind the kiosk, but I think one is a way to eliminate all those start in jobs, you right? Know, this is a response to minimum wage. I was just gonna say that increase minimum to... wage is supposed to increase to fifteen dollars uh, or more. McDonald's is not gonna pay niggas fifteen. So they cutting out all of those jobs, basically, That's... and but kiosks. I think that out of that will come more resourcefulness for our youth 
and just people that are looking for entry level jobs. Like yeah. you have to get a fucking skill. You have to beat the robots at this point. Yeah. Too. So what is your unique niche? We just had an exclusive segment with my man Michael Cox. Yeah. And he found his lane. He found himself. Yeah. Due to a tragic loss, but he came out of his shell and now he's glowing the fuck up. Yeah. I think that this is going to be a good thing at the end of the day when it's like okay now okay well maybe maybe not because if you turn to the black market now that's not a good thing. But if you said man I can't get this entry level job I don't have any skills what can I do and you find yourself because of that situation I think that could be a good testament to this situation for some not for all yeah i was gonna say for some some yeah. people want to work at mcdonald's i just want people to work at mcdonald's that i know so i can get free shit <laughs> i'm just saying you remember you used to have a hookup what, yeah. what, what restaurant did you used to be able to pull up and be like fred Del, what restaurant was that none. for you growing up none nigga kfc taco bell Burger King after 2 a.m.? I've never had a hookup on a restaurant. Oh, I've had so But many. you know what? I know only guys I know oh. have hookups on restaurants. Oh, yes. You, um, we love my kid's dad, uh, we love my guy, like hookups, everybody, gee. I think it's men thing. Yeah, yeah. He just like to feel like we plugged. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a plug at Foco, sorry. Uh, what's going on with the first black man to play Willy Wonka? Drum roll, please. Donald Glover. I thought so. When I first read this, I thought you said Danny Glover. I was about to say, why? <laughs> why would Danny Glover, who I just saw in Sorry to Bother You the other day, uh, uh, yeah. I'm like, what? Nigga, you're t getting too old for this shit. Yeah, no, Literally. Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino. Gambino. Hey. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he will be, well, possibly playing the first black Willy Wonka. He gonna Wonka. get it. Unless he I fuck like up socially, he gonna get Willy it. Willy Wonka, the original. Oh, buddy, from Hear No Evil, See No Evil? Yes. Richard, not Richard Greer. No. Gene Dreyfus. Hackman? Gene ha not Gene Hackman. That's, That's the my other nigga Burrell from okay. Miami of the State. <laughs> what is the nigga name? Gene Shatner. Wilder. Gene Wilder. Wilder. Rauf in the clutch. In the <laughs> hey, we were go get it. Hey, we <laughs> we wasn't even close. But the nigga did play in hella uh, Richard Pryor movies. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But I, I do like the original, so I can original really side. see him yeah. playing that and more of that style. The yeah. Johnny Depp one was a little weird. Yeah, yeah. It's a little weird, kind of scary. I yeah. think that they're like forcing Johnny Depp to be the only example we have of that weird... Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. Sleepy Hollow, he's like the only actor Willy Wonka. It's that like, label. Yeah, he's just that off-brand ass yeah. dude. And I think this is a perfect lane for uh, Thomas Gambino to step in and step over yeah. and create a lane for more of us to get those type of opportunities. I agree. We can do that so and we'll we can see. do it even better probably. All right, also going on, uh, your boy Stevie J and Faith Evans. Are reportedly married. Whoa. What about Biggie? Rest in peace. No. No. I don't know what This is her only say. marriage after Biggie, or she's been married since Biggie's death? Shh, I don't know if she was married, but she was, you know, with somebody for fuck. a long time. Definitely fucking. Because I think he had a drug addiction, and that's when she was going through her thing. Oh. Huh? Yeah, so. Are sharing drugs? I don't know. We don't do I the like same so I don't drugs. <laughs> but Stevie J, don't he got a lot of shit going on right now? Well, yeah. Kid-wise, yeah, always. Oh, okay, always. But um, <laughs> Till the him and Faith have known each other since Biggie because they I worked on the same label. did not know that that was him in the, I'm coming. That's him what? Uh, he just in the goddamn video with Is Mason Puck. When they in the big B-I-G, P-O-P-P yeah, -P -P in that video. video. Ben, uh, not Benjamin's, uh, whatever that shit's called. I don't remember, but I'm yeah. going to check the video. Yeah. I don't remember seeing it. But yeah, so they Stevie J is definitely there with some goggles on his head and a shiny ass suit behind mm. Mace doing it. Mm. I said, damn, that's Stevie J. I've never heard of the guy until reality TV, honestly. Yeah, well, because he's been a producer. He's oh, been okay. behind the scenes. Behind producers normally until Puff were behind the scenes. Right. So. Yeah, we more Money, More Problems. That's the name of that uh, video. Check okay. out More Money, More okay. Problems. See if you can spot Stevie J. Okay. Right. But yeah, so they were married. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, what about hashtags galore? There's a lot of hashtags that some of us have been <laughs> participating in, and then others have not. Um, beginning with in my, hashtag In My Feelings Challenge. So the In My Feelings Challenge is the same thing as the Kiki Challenge. Which I now love. <laughs> the fuck out of <laughs> what for those that don't know what what sparked so this? drake has a song called in my kiki feelings? do you love me is it in my feelings is it called in, in my, my feelings? feelings okay yeah. but a young guy off instagram shiggy shiggy the shiggy he show did a little dance to it right killed it took it off Track money, hey, got me in my 
gotta be real with Hey Kiki, they hey. love me Hey, you hey. 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 Everybody was doing it. Killing it. Including myself. But Sierra had the crown up until last week. I mean, last <laughs> week when this then the third zone, Reese, <laughs> the one and only, showed us what she was twerking with. <laughs> Partially, she she kept it PG, but just oh my God, it just went slow. Cloud every morsel of Reese in. Jeez. Wait, you know what? Everybody were asking oh, was asking stars. me. Stars. I didn't know you could dance. I'm like, really? She is a. A gifted talent here, G. She killed that. G. Like, if really, you follow I love her, dancing. So if you follow her, congratulations. That's my thing. Me and my boys, God, we, it we rock is it. Her but thing. and her couch looks nice. <laughs> like, nice ass couch. So anyway, um, <laughs> with this challenge, if you noticed, a lot of people are getting out of driving cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have peeped that. I seen a nigga get pulled off on hot ride for Power ninety two. He tried uh, to get out and a bit skirted because he was talking about Kiki. His girl named one Kiki. <laughs> laughing i said so wow. that's the danger now like people yeah. are taking it too far yeah. like a few videos they would hop out and the car would be parked but some of them they're still driving as they're hopping out yeah. and it's becoming a little dangerous but i think these young kids they kind of take it too far with the challenges yeah yeah i mean at the end of the day they're young and dumb and out of control what you gonna do my question no. is this what made that a part of the challenge like did when i seen shiggy do it he didn't look like he jumped out of the car maybe i didn't watch the whole thing but it just looked I like he was he just did dancing get out of the oh car. He, well, he did he okay so now the they got to do exactly what he did right but i liked how different people kind of added their own variations yeah. to it so okay also man um michael b jordan was out uh yachting and only had bunnies around Him. white bunnies just snow bunnies galore yeah so, so, are you concerned with this? Well, I didn't think it was a thing, right? But I read the article. Wakanda God? I mean, Wakanda didn't raise him. Let's remember, <laughs> he wasn't raised in Wakanda. He was raised in Oakland. <laughs> a lot of white bitches in Oakland. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. So, Apparently. this is the second outing, right? The mm. first time he was in a club in France, and the security was told, do not let any black females up. By whom? How can we prove that? Well, okay, so... I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. Apparently, it was it was from Michael. I don't think he talks like that. I saw him at the BT Awards embracing his black excellence televised, dog. Like him and um, Ryan Coogler are with the shits, man. Like, yes, they made. I don't know about Ryan. I think he married, but Michael B is fucking Creed. He can get any ethnicity chick, and if this particular night he had white chicks, maybe it's because. I see four busted black sisters over there. Well, I mean, don't he's in let France. them up here. I don't know. Right, don't it know. probably wasn't like hella black chicks trying to get at him in the first place. Okay, so for the yacht party, mm -hmm. he invited all of the French girls and we oui, we oui. they just won the <sighs> motherfucking was that the World Cup. Now they finna drink out of his cup. I don't know. I guess the instructions or whoever is in his camp mm -hmm. giving these instructions mm -hmm. is falling back on him. Either way, go. I don't personally mind. You know. I just as think, well as I don't know Michael B. Jordan, I don't think he's going to make that statement. That's just me. Somebody in his camp, hell yeah. Because they like, nigga, I want some bunnies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Michael B. has too much to lose by saying that shit. Uh, I'm not Let gonna, him around you and I'm don't give him attention. I'm not going to put that past him that he wouldn't say that. Because niggas get money and they get arrogant and they do go to the other side. Which I don't have a problem with. I just think black women need to stop being so bitter and taste the rainbow. Mm. I Quiet. would say, Okay. I'm not going to condone that. But what I would say is, <laughs> brothers, let us be a little bit more mindful of the fact that we have been brainwashed to think that white women are on a different level than black women. Now, if you go after all women, I'm fucking with you. But if you're seeking out white women because you think that you're not going to get the same thing or worse that you're going to get with a sister, 
you're sadly mistaken, bro. Yeah. Stay woke. Okay. Um, and last, because I know we talked about this last week, mm -hmm. I love the Carter's album. Oh, please. Because yes. I heard somebody, somebody's say it didn't do anything for them. It didn't move the culture forward and what the bam. But it's fun. It's a I'm fun album. I'm not even going to say that. Indeed. The album moves. First of all, friends. Can we say everybody friend, needs to friend, listen to friend, that? Because if you're the only one in your circle friend, that got money, you broke. You broke. If your friends all ain't got it, if you're not pulling you're everybody broke. up, you're, you're broke. broke. Okay, so and that's, you're broken. That's one song that I think the yeah. culture yeah. needs to hear. I mean, maybe they didn't hear it the way that you heard it. I, I like the whole album, D. Okay, so but that's my one. shit on there, I'm going to tell you. Go ahead. What's your second one? Nice. Oh, and I'm nice, 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 I mean, nice, nice. I feel can do good anything. About yeah, hey, anything you that's do. my shit. G. That's, that's like, my wake up yeah, song. Push us forward. Oh, just get your ass up and yeah. do it, man. You can do anything. That man said, uh, I have, he said, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? I have no fear of anything. I do everything well. Mm. When you wake up with that mindset, every day is a good day, good. dog. Nice is my shit. That's what nice. I was going for. Um, and so the last two that I really, really love is uh, Love Happy. Love Happy is decent. But it's, like, it's lovey. It's yeah, lovey. It's, it's lovey. lovey. And Summer. Summer is good, too. I was going to say Boss, and I was going to say the single ape shit. I oh, yeah, can't ape shit. forget Kills. ape shit. Kills. Even though it's oversaturated, I love it still. What's the song, um, what you say? Uh, 713? Ask About Me. I think it's, it might be 713. That's the only one we ain't named. It's only nine tracks. Is it? I'm not. No, because she, she sings, nigga, you better ask about me. Oh, wow. She sings it. And I was like, oh, this, I was right. riding my bike singing oh, that star. as white people were going. Right. I was like, nigga, ask you, about me. You, you. <laughs> She said, you cool, you cool. And I said, fuck you, yeah. fuck you, you so, cool. So, shout out to the I'm Carters. Out. I do like the album. Straight like that. All right, so can we wrap up the rundown this week with our favorite topic on this down the third? Yeah. And what is that? Relationships. Relationships. So what's hashtag DC ass asking this week? Okay, so would you rather date a person mm -hmm. who doesn't cheat but is a massive flirt or someone who isn't a flirt but super jealous? So, would you rather date me or a jealous nigga? Because <laughs> he's saying he's a flirt. I won't cheat because, I, you know, cheating is being non-transparent. We've already discussed this definition. <laughs> but, uh, so, I won't cheat, but I am a flirty, and I will continue to be one. Just because, <laughs> man, I think flirting is necessary, dog. Like, I will flirt, 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 then go fuck the shit out of my girl versus cheating but it's like you know i just i feel like the man because i've been affirmed you know what i'm saying <laughs> you have to know your love language chief you have yeah, to know yeah, and my yeah. shit is like you know what i'm saying acts of service but also the affirming words yeah and it's it, it, it goes it's a lot that goes into it but i would i would say that i would never want to date a woman that was like me that just flirts 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 because i would be like you're you're hot you're, you're hot between the pants young lady you are yeah, yeah, you're, you're fresh as hell. Like, could you stop flirting with every nigga that you come in contact with? Because I think that it's expected almost for men to kind of, hey, oh, nice, hey, woo. But if my girl just went around checking niggas' balls and was, you know what I'm saying, broad shouldering niggas, I'd be like, babe, can we leave? Can we leave? And then a jealous female, depending on how she um, projects her jealousy, yeah. that shit could be cute at first. At, At first. first. But then you can end up in the it hospital. A There's headache. a thin line between love and hate. Yeah. What say you? I don't want nobody jealous. Okay. I always end up with them. Uh, you I have a lot to be jealous, jealous over, I think. Have you all seen the <laughs> hashtag Kiki Challenge? I asked again. <laughs> Shit. I'm jealous. I don't even go with them all. <laughs> Shit. Whatever. I'm um, just saying. And. Uh, I what about the flirting? Can you handle it? Can you handle it? I have. Okay. I will. Mm -hmm. But see, again, I don't do me if you can't take it. Yeah, yeah. If you can't take it. That's very don't true. Don't do that's me. That's very true. Because I see you over there flirting. Oh, okay. Well, let me go oh. have a conversation. Go there. get this nigga a little shoulder. <laughs> right. Take it right back. back. <laughs> <laughs> but I did see that you responded to this online, and you said something to the effect of like dudes neither. that flirt. Like, yeah, neither. Obviously, that would be everybody's answer. But uh, dudes that flirt so much, you said grow up. She see you. 
Yeah. That was cute, Z. Yeah. That was cute. I mean, because sometimes the flirting can just be like, they have to have attention all the time. Yeah. It's like, dude, have a seat. Yeah. But that's my thing. Like, attention. I'm an attention seeker. I don't give a fuck if I'm in a preschool or an old folks home. Everybody see Calvin? <laughs> Does everybody love Calvin? <laughs> just let me know that you love me and I'll be on my way. So, usually I'm around my peers, so I act that way. Yeah. But it is what it is. What do you say? Would you rather be in a relationship with a flirt or somebody that's jealous? Let us know in the comments below. But I think that about wraps us yep. up for another dope episode of This, That, and the Third, the lifestyle show that gives you light, literally. And we are signing out and signing off. It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King the Third, my lovely co hosts with the Moses, Miss Reese PC, the one and only. And we are the Undisputed King and Queen Chicago Podcast. Check, Check us, us out. out.